Heute beten wir für... People from Outside School und someone else, nämlich Eri. Die äh, Eri ist die für Temperance, also den äh, Kinderbetreuungsjob. In die to go home. Ich glaube, ich muss dann mal auf meinen Zettel eine aktualisierte Liste machen, weil durch das ganze durchgestrichene... Ah, ja, jetzt habe ich... Jetzt mache ich Make Model. Und da sehen wir gleich, dass wir Diligence erhöhen. Auf meinem Zettel steht nämlich äh, lauter durchgestrichene Sachen und auch falsche Sachen, wie, ich, wie mir aufgefallen ist. Werde ich mal eine neue Liste machen. Jetzt sind eh nicht mehr so viele Arcanas offen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ja, heute ist Sonntag, heute haben wir frei. Ja, 7 mit, mit den Gesprächen. Natürlich habe ich da jetzt nicht Fool oder Star nicht mit dazu genommen, weil die leveln ja automatisch. Auch heute wieder. Es regnet, wir können nichts machen. Eventuell hätte ich zu Eier gehen können, aber... Ne. Da ist mir dann das Beten lieber, weil dann werden die Social äh, Ranks schnell erhöht. Und ich, ich glaube, heute habe ich wieder für Nano ge gebetet, falls ich mich nicht täusche. Ja, it's, it's the shrine. Boah, ich, ich habe gerade grad mal 23 oder 22 Minuten nachsynchronisiert. Ein Drittel also. Okay, was wieder Nanako. It seems the fog will set in tonight. So heute können wir gar nichts machen, weder arbeiten noch sonst irgendetwas, sondern einfach nur TV schauen. Fuck has set in. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Nanako has been rescued and you were able to arrest the culprit. There's probably no need to watch the Midnight Channel anymore. The fog is fog is covering the town. Und da habe ich mich halt gefragt, für was die Szene gut ist, weil wir wissen ja, dass äh, Nebel de in der Stadt ist. Aber das wird sich gleich aufklären oder bald. The fog from yesterday is still here. Ja, das habe ich so schnell nicht lesen können. Oh, there he is. Take a look at this. Namatame is in today's paper. The front page headline article says that Namatame has regained consciousness. Today before dawn, the suspect Taro Na Namatame, who had been confi confined in a local, re regained consciousness. In response to police questioning, he testified that he is sorry for what he has done and was scared. 
From here on, the police are hoping to solve the entire case based on the suspect's depositions. So it's finally over. Yeah, seriously. I wish we could have done it sooner. <sighs> Isn't the fog kind of thick this morning? And it's so chilly. <sighs> it rarely gets this cold in November. Oh, it's you guys. Perfect timing. I just got a call from the hospital. They said that starting today, it's okay to visit Nanako-chan. So she's getting a little better. Thank goodness. Oh, is that today's paper? So you already know about him. Uh, is it finally over? Well, the perp's been caught, so yeah. He's still mentally unstable, but we're slowly piecing together a story. This is still a secret, but I guess it's okay to tell you guys. You know that diary we found? There were entries about Miss Yamano and Miss Konishi in it. Looks like Namatame had been making advances on Miss Konishi. That son of a bitch! Yeah, well, I'm gonna head to the hospital now. Dojima-san's recovering too. So I need to go over a few things about this case with him. Yosuke. Sorry. I'm all right. Namatame's been caught. He can't hurt anyone now. But forget him. Let's all go visit Nanako-chan after school. Of course. Let's tell the others once we get to school. Just to remind us, the finals are next week. I've been comparing students' faces for years, before and after the tests. They're flying high, thinking they'll pass at first, but once it's over, their faces turn to pale white. Ho ho ho, speaking of turning white, are you all familiar with Othello, a game named after Shakespeare's play? Some say it named to demonstrate the drastic change in the relationship of the Lake General and his white wife. Just goes to show you, even games. Ha ho ho ho! You might think this is the little importance, but I recommend you get this down in your notes. Boy, tests are much like history. You never know what's going to be in them. Ho ho! You listen to the lecture carefully. Vor wenn ich nicht selbst drücken kann, ist das Lesen auch um einige schwerer, weil ich nicht weiß, wann ich da weiter gedrückt habe. Nanako, everyone's here to see you. Mm -hmm. Big bro. Talking still seems painful for her. Nevertheless, Nanako looks happy. Dojima-san! How many times does this make it today? I understand that you're worried about your daughter, but you still need your rest, too. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, are your injuries that bad? Hmm. Well, my wounds are just closed up, and it seems I have a couple of fractures as well. I'm sorry. I'll wheel him back to his room immediately. What are you apologizing for? It's almost time for your checkup, so make sure you're back in your room before then. Big bro. <laughs> ich bin hier. Habe ich halt gedrückt irgendwann. So. Nanako closed her eyes with a relieved expression. She seems to have fallen asleep. Mm. 
received an explanation concerning Nanako's condition from the doctor. Her condition is stable for now, but uh, I never thought I'd say this as a doctor, but we still can't figure out the cause of Nanako-chan's symptoms. That's why we can only administer temporary treatments to alleviate her current pains. But she's not in danger anymore, is she? She's regained consciousness, but we can't let our guard down yet. All we can do for now is to monitor her condition closely. <sighs> Adachi, how's it going with Namatame? Well, he's awake now, but he's in no condition to tell us anything useful. We only get a little time each day to interrogate him, so we're stuck until his strength recovers. I see. I should get back to work as soon as possible. Hopefully by then, Nanako will be out of the hospital. Um, I think Nanako-chan can get more peace and quiet if she stays here. It's so foggy out. And there's been some weird rumors going around. Seems like no one knows why there's so much fog in town. It's true. The number of patients complaining about fog-related health problems has increased. Which is quite unusual. Is the fog poisonous? I can't say for sure that it has no effect on the human body. It certainly could be a psychological effect. People's anxiety over the fog could cause problems. But as far as the fog's chemical makeup, well, that's not my field, so I can only speculate. What concerns me is that transportation of our medical supplies has been delayed due to the fog. Fog-related health problems. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Anyone who says that is just blowing smoke. Nanako has somehow regained consciousness, but it seems that it will take more time until she fully recovers. Namatame's integration that has finally, finally begun, the fog that won't lift and people's mysterious health problems. For now it seems that you can only watch and wait to see how things will turn out. Isn't this weather strange? How could it be lasting so long? I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what's causing it. It's so creepy. I heard that a friend of mine's son got sick from the fog and collapsed. You know how sensitive children are to that sort of thing. I heard something too. They say an old man was driving through the fog and got into an accident. What? Did he lose control? Well, he'd never been in an accident or even gotten a ticket before, so something seems off. Isn't that scary? I've even heard there are experts saying it's poisonous. I wonder if that's true. Do you think it's, you know, because of that global warming thing? This town's changed a lot over the years. I wish the government would step in and do something about this. Oh, I agree completely. If we're going to pay taxes, I expect the authorities to do their jobs. This fog is poison! It's a gas filled with viruses! Don't inhale the fog or you'll die! He's not the first one like that I've seen lately. Poisonous gas, though? Oh, I'm sure it's not true. Oh. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh my. I... I think I'm coming down with something. <laughs> you... you can't be serious. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I needed to do some grocery shopping. Well then.
business has been so slow lately. So, und jetzt kommt eine echt beschissene Zeit für das Leveln der Social Links. Denn durch diesen Nebel, ihr werdet es bald merken, ist fast niemand dazu bereit, irgendetwas zu machen. Ihr werdet es eh bald merken. Aber zuerst machen wir an unserem Modell weiter. Yo, he is still it's talking. The weather's really been weird lately. What's up with all this fog? This fog looks like it's going to stay here forever. But I heard it's nothing to worry about. That's what some great guy on TV said. Oh, I also heard that it's poisonous. Very toxic. And nobody even knows why it's why it's toxic. Man. Just thinking about how toxic it is makes me feel ill. I should probably stay at home for a while. <coughs> You're just too lazy to take the finals beginning next week, aren't you? It's serious to cold now. Such a painful season if you got hip pain. I'd love to go to an inn with a spa. Luckily, we've got an inn right here in town. Not only that, but the manager there is a young and beautiful. Yeah? Unfortunately, unfortunately, my family is more interested in a sea trip than going to an inn. What's the point of going somewhere so cold? Are they that desperate to see the snow? I said to them, if you wanna see snow, why not go to the glacier in South America? Huh? I see top written all over your faces. You never heard of it? Hmm. Why don't I turn this into a question? Yukun? Yukun? So. What's the name of the glacier in South America? The Pantagonian Icefield. Wow, you're a smart fella. And yes, it's rather special glacier between Chile and Argentina. Of course, it was just joking about going there. The weather is so harsh, very few people ever go. But I don't think my wife gets it. She's been picking up brochures about South America. She really, she's really too gullible. How could she not be at least a tiny bit guarded about going to a glacier? You gave the correct answer. Class have ended for the day. Yeah, blah 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 blah. So, und jetzt werde ich merken, dass keiner wirklich was unternehmen will. Ich dachte am ersten vielleicht noch der Musikclub. Aber, und jetzt werdet ihr es gleich merken. In der Woche vor den Prüfungen sind nämlich keine Clubaktivitäten. Das habe ich nicht bedacht. Also, kein Musik. Club für heute. Aber auch sonst niemand hier, den, mit dem ich wirklich sprechen könnte. Riese ist nicht hier. Wen wollte ich hier jetzt noch mal nachschauen? Ich glaube eh Kanji und den Hanged Man. Aber die beiden sind leider auch nicht hier. Also bin ich zum Schrein gegangen und habe gebetet. Oder? <lacht> 